Now let's go to the third district and Delia Ramirez with 66 percent. Uh, Gil Villegas trailing quite far behind there with 24 percent. And I believe we have our Marisa Vedra. Is she standing by there? Marisa Vedra, yes, she is there at Ramirez headquarters. Marie. Hi, Eric and Joe. Yes, party wrapping up here, uh, but Team Ramirez ecstatic tonight. The Illinois State Rep ran as a progressive, and she held it out tonight after an early lead, jumping ahead of her closest competitor, who was Chicago Alderman Gil Villegas. She held on to it throughout the evening. This newly drawn district skews heavily Latino. Ramirez is originally from Humboldt Park, and she says she is working to represent not only the blocks she grew up on, but also the far edges of the 3rd Congressional District, which include places like parts of Bartlett and Elgin, all the way out to Wheaton. She says what that area needs is a connector, and she is the one to do it. The entire state of Illinois has made it loud and clear. It's time for progressive, authentic, yes. good government. Now, standing between her and Washington, D.C., is the only Republican who ran in a primary, so he won his race. That is Justin Bureau. He's a DuPage County native, and he has an uphill battle ahead of him, if only because this seat here for the 3rd District has traditionally been Democratic. The two will go head-to-head -head in November. We are live in Portage Park. Marisa Vedra, CBS 2 News. Marie, thank you. Let's bring our panel back in, and Kimberly, we'll start with you. We had talked earlier on our streaming uh, service that, that there weren't many progressive victories tonight. That's one of them. That's definitely one of them. A very strong speaker, strong legislator, has got a record of being in Springfield and actually doing the work, which is something mm -hmm. I think a lot of people want to know that if they're sending you to Congress, that you know how to, to, to act as a legislator, which is very different from just running for office. So um, this is definitely sending a message. She went against Gil Villegas, who has been in the Chicago City Council. He probably will go back to Chicago City Council. But um, yeah, very progressive, had a lot of support from progressive organizations and I think that she's going to go and be a very strong voice and representative for her community. Yeah, so this newly created Hispanic district yes. here